What is going on? Welcome to episode 88, the real 88, <laughs> of the Nintendo PowerCast. I'm your host, N64 Josh, on this NPC Mini. That music you just heard was from On Being Human. Check them out on Spotify and YouTube. This is the unofficial Nintendo podcast. The official one is the Nintendo Power Podcast. So look for it wherever you listen to podcasts. You want to get yourself a book from Audible and help support this show? Go to audibletrial.com slash NPC. Get yourself a free book and uh, check out Ready Player One or Console Wars. You want to start your own podcast? Go to podbean.com slash NPC. Sign up for free. Check it out. See if it's for you. You can, you can do everything from their app on their phone. I was messing with it today. You can even include country music if you want to in your podcast <laughs> provided for free. Podbean.com slash NPC. Guys, the chair I'm sitting in is from OPC. You can go to OPC.com. Save $10 off of a chair by using coupon code N64Josh. Of course, I have a Patreon. If you want to check out uh, the, the different tiers available for a dollar, you get yourself an extra podcast each month. That's Patreon.com slash N64Josh. And I'm rocking a Nintendo PowerCast t-shirt. If you want to get one, go to N64Josh.com slash shirt. Nope, slash store. Okay, ads out of the way. Let's, uh, we got, a, we have a few announcements. Hey, listen. All right, you can watch this show live on Thursday nights. The time fluctuates between six and seven. Had things gone the way they were supposed to today, I would have recorded this much, much earlier. But, uh, hey, it's just the way it is. So, usually around the six o'clock hour Pacific Standard Time, that's when the show goes live. The best way to keep up with it, either follow me on Twitter or get into our discord and if you are in the discord you will know exactly when i go live because i post on there every single time so that's definitely the best place i'm working on a book it's called another castle it's looking at life and looking at comparing life with super mario brothers it's it's a work in progress i'm hoping for mid-may but i'm gonna this is gonna be like game development for me and i'm gonna wait till it's where i want it before it releases so fingers crossed i'm gonna be working on it a lot this weekend i have the new podcast called the smash bros cast and nightcrawler who is a regular in chat and my sparring partner is the co-host for that show now so we're actually recording that show on thursday nights at 10 p.m pacific standard time i know it's super late and that's just the way it is. I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to get this stuff made without taking up too much family time. So um, you, can, of course, can listen to it on iTunes and Google Play. You can watch the episodes on YouTube. And uh, Scrap Gear makes a good point. Twitch notifications are also good as well. You can flip that little uh, notification on. When the show goes live, you'll know. You'll know for sure. Uh, we got Mario Kart Mondays happening on twitch.tv slash n64josh, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Come race with us. It's a good time. Saturday morning Splatoons, usually around 8 or 9. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, I jump into Splatoon and play with viewers, so if you want to get some uh, Turf War on or possibly private matches, come hang out, twitch.tv slash n64josh, and starting tomorrow, the when doing a show on Wednesdays is not, it's just too many, with the weather getting nice, it's just too much stuff in the evening, so I've got to, I have to cut it back, so Friday mornings are going to be first look Fridays, we're going to be looking at a robot named Fight tomorrow morning, that'll be three games we're checking out this week we've already looked at a few of them so um first look fridays you can check it out live 6 a.m pacific standard time or you can watch it on youtube and check out the post that i'll have on n64josh.com i want to say hello guys everyone in chat paliner mm, let's see magnus scrap gear snake eyes alexander for maxis pudding lumber joke Yikum, I saw others as well. Kirby and Nightcrawler, uh, Campbell. If I missed anybody, forgive me, guys. But thank you, Jacob Clemens. Thank you for hanging out. GI Jello. I think I got everybody. And if anybody's just lurking, thank you so much. Nerd Luck. Thank you so much. You guys are uh, you guys are the best. Thank you for being here with me live. I appreciate it. We have a ton of stuff to get to tonight so but before we do let's talk about what games are on sale on the switch right now okay this is cool guys i finally realized hey i can pull up nintendo's website and see everything that's on sale for the switch so i will include a link to this we'll go over it real quick i believe there are 29 titles yeah 29 titles on sale right now astro bears 
two ninety nine, Bleed five ninety nine, Brave Dungeon plus Dark Witch Story Combat six twenty nine right now. Brawl, Bulb Boy, Frederick two, Evil Strikes Back, Frederick Resurrection of Music. These games, both those games together, are under three dollars. Uh, Grand Prix Rock and Racing six thirty nine, King Oddball dollar forty nine. Lego Marvel Super Heroes, $29.99. Pretty fun game. Recommend checking that out. Letter Quest Remastered, $5.99. Lovers in a Dangerous Times, uh, Dangerous Space Time. I haven't played this one. I have heard some people uh, talk about it. They seem to like it. It is $9.99. Uh, Millie, $2.49. Nine Parchments is another one that I've heard is 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 pretty good. $11.99 right now. No Thing, $1.39. Uh, Cubics Paint, 374. Robonauts, 299. Here's the big one, guys. Rocket League, 1499. Don't miss it. We play a lot of Rocket League in the, uh, um, in the N64 Josh Discord. So, uh, come, come hang out and, uh, play, play some Rocket League. It's, it's, it's a great time. Sp Semispheres, that's kind of fun to say. Slain, Back from Hell. Sonic Forces, it's 23.99. It's still too much. Uh, Sparkle 2 Evo is $1.24. Square Boy versus Bullies Arena Edition, $3.99. Let's see here. Star Ghost, Star Ghost, Super Toy Cars, The Coma, Twin Robots Ultimate Edition, uh, Violet, and Zombilly, all on sale. So, 29 different titles on sale. Rocket League is the one that I say, check out. Check it out. Drummer says... Astro Bears, Bears in Space, <laughs> in the old-fashioned long space voice. So there is our our sales for the Switch. Let's get into the news. Wait, wait, real quick. As far as releases, if any of you guys are physical collectors like me, there are two games that were released today the only place i can find them is uh if it's what is the name i don't have the games right in front of me they're at the only place you can find them is gamestop and it's like a it's a snowmobile game and an like a like a jet ski game but it's like aquatic something so if you're looking for physical games the only place i found them is is at gamestop I looked, I looked on Amazon, had nothing except for a really expensive import. So uh, what I did is before I started the show, I checked my local GameStop. They have them. They're holding both of them. I'm going to go pick them up as soon as this episode is over. But if you want physical games, uh, of those two anyway, they're pro probably shovelware, I'm guessing. But uh, that's where you're going to find them. All right. Uh, Scrap Gear's asking, didn't Galgun 2 come out this week? Yes, it did. I'll have it tomorrow. <laughs> I don't even like saying that. But yes, it is It is. It is showing up here. That game is rated M, so I just want to get that out there. It's It's definitely, definitely rated M for mature and could also be rated W for really weird because I don't, I don't understand it. I don't get it. But let's get into the news. <laughs> Okay, well, we have a lot of stuff to talk about. I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning, planned on going to the gym. Instead, I ended up working on these notes for about an hour because there was so much stuff. My Twitter feed was out of control, out of control, because there was so much news this morning. So, before we even get to what dropped this morning, if you like watching Splatoon, you want to see some uh, some of the best teams in uh, the U.S. and Canada, you want to check out the Splatoon U.S. and Canada Inkling Open 2018 Finals will be live at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Saturday. I will have a link in the show notes if you want to keep up to date with everything in the Nintendo competitive scene, make sure to follow Versus Nintendo on Twitter. Okay, so this is the tournament that the the Mad Splatters, which is my team, we, we played in last weekend. Didn't do so hot, but we had a great time doing it. And uh, so you're going to see the top eight teams battle it out. The, the winner gets to go to E3 and 
play uh <laughs> play in the the uh the world championships my the chat right now is just throw me for a loop scrap gear saying i should stream galgun 2 is a cringe cringe stream then snake guy says isn't this the cringe stream so you know thanks thanks guys <laughs> much much love <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Splatfest. This is awesome. I could not believe I woke up to this. I was so pumped. Splatfest, May 4th, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, the last time Splatfest was something similar to this was when it was Transformers. These are like my favorite toys as a kid. Transformers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Nickelodeon's kicking off a new TV show, new cartoon. So this is one of the ways they're promoting it with Splatfest, Raph versus Leo. Now, I have to tell you, both of those characters are my favorite. Leonardo was the first Ninja Turtle I ever got. It was the first Ninja Turtle when I was a little kid, and here's how I got him. You guys ready? We're gonna go on a little. We're gonna go on a little, little, little tangent here. Little, little story time with N64 Josh. Now, I wasn't allowed to have Ninja Turtles. I wasn't allowed to watch Ninja Turtles because they were too violent. Maybe there was some magic involved. I don't know. You guys are gonna get a glimpse, <laughs> a little more of a glimpse into that part of my life when my book comes out. So, I wasn't allowed to have it. So my grandmother would let me work to pay for day camp when I was during the summer, right? And at the end of the week, she'd pay for my day camp, and then she would take me to the, it was called the, the what was it called? The, the children's company or the children's, I don't think it's children's factory. That just sounds weird. I, I don't know. They're not around anymore. It was the closest I had to Toys R Us. Like, it was just a giant toy store. And they had Leonardo. And I loved katanas, so Leonardo was my first choice. And I immediately, this is one of those times that like, the moment I got to the car, I opened this thing because I did not want my mom to make me take this thing back. So that was the first of many, many Ninja Turtles. Now, as, as time has progressed, I, eventually my mom lightened up and I got, uh, I got all kinds of turtles. I still have a collection of my turtles, actually, all in the garage. And yes, they're all opened. So I know Kirby's like, he opened a toy. I know. It's so crazy. Also want to let you guys know that we just hit 32 viewers. So I think you guys in chat know what that means. It has something to do with braids and something to do with my beard. Just wanted to throw that out for next week's episode also we're giving away a copy of donkey kong tropical freeze on tuesday's episode so make sure to tune in for that okay so raf versus leo i see a lot of guys a lot of you guys saying team raf team raf welcome shell shock and your your crew thank you guys for me it's team it's leonardo it's leonardo i want to use the blue ink i like both the turtles equally but i'm going leo so there you go. I'm going, I'm going Leo. Everybody's saying hashtag braid the beard. So there you go. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Games at Dust said I heard him say braided, braided beard Galgun 2 cast. Nope. Nope. Not happening. Not happening. So uh, that's it. Splatfest, May 4th, Ninja Turtles. Looks like there's four different shirts. I'm not sure how that's going to work. I, I don't know, but uh, I will be rocking Team Leo if you want to be able to play with me. Come hang out. Uh, we'll be we'll be streaming that a ton. I always love grinding chunks on uh, Splatfest weekend because it's so cheap to scrub that shirt. So come hang out. It'll be a good time. Okay, guys. Here's like we got. There's quite a bit of stuff here. So we're gonna I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can. Nintendo's getting a new president. Uh, Tatsumi Kimishima will retire in June and be succeeded by Shuntaro Furukawa. He's 46 years old, speaks fluent English, and he is a gamer. And here is a direct quote from, from Furukawa. It says, we will develop the company to its fullest. I will balance Nintendo's traditions, uh, originality, and flexibility. I grew up playing the Famicom and come from that generation. Now as a member of management with Super Mario's creator, Shigeru Miyamoto, I have a lot of respect for him. On the other hand, with this new job, that can't just be it. So 
I expected to say what needs to be said to run the company. So he wants to obviously run Nintendo to the fullest, the fullest of his, his ability, but he grew up with the Famicom. This gets me excited. This gets me excited for, for, for a few different reasons, but, but mainly I love the fact that there is somebody that is, that plays or at least played Nintendo games running Nintendo. If you guys follow the Xbox at all, you know the Xbox One has been kind of like it did not do so hot coming out of the coming out of the coming out of the gate. And there were a lot of suit and ties running the company at that at that point. And it took a gamer to come in and basically start to turn uh, to turn that ship. And it is a very slow turning ship. But you can see that. You know, Phil Spencer on Xbox, he's a gamer. He loves gamers, and he 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 made that very clear in the way that, that Xbox is doing things now. Nintendo's been knocking it out of the park with the Switch, but I think this this is even just a a, a better step in the right direction. I don't I mean I don't even know if that's a, the right way to put it, but I really think that this is a good thing. I can't wait to see what, what comes of this. And, and I'm excited. He is 46 years old is, is relatively young for the presidents of Nintendo. I believe he's the sixth president. Uh, I believe I could be wrong on that though. So don't, don't quote me on it. it there hasn't been a lot though. There hasn't been a lot. They, they usually are in their presidents for a very long time typically. So, um, so he will be taken over in June, and it's good. It's good. There were a lot of different, uh, a lot of different people moved to different positions in Nintendo last night, at least that we learned about. So, um, yeah. And Drummer says he's excited for an, for an English speaking uh, Nintendo guy, which is you know we got to see uh, Iwata do a lot of, of a lot of the E three. Uh, directs and and just different directs, so it'll be nice being able to hear um, hear from them again. So let's see. It's the fourth president of Nintendo since the '80s. There we go. Thanks, Snake Eyes. I know there hasn't been there hasn't been a lot of them. So, uh oh. And Kirby saying I flipped something. I'm not sure what, but anyway, let's talk about game sales. This, um, the, yeah, Yamuchi was president for like 70 years. It was a long, long time. Okay, she says I'm good. Sweet. Okay, so game sales. This is crazy, guys. Super Mario Odyssey, 10.41 uh, 10 million units sold. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, 9.22 million units sold. Mario Kart 8 has now sold more units on the Switch than it did on the the Wii U. That's crazy. That's crazy cuz I know I mean I double dipped, right? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people did. It's a fun game. Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Switch, 8.48 million copies sold and with the sales of the Wii U, that is the for, for my understanding from the stuff I saw earlier, it is the highest, uh, the most, the highest selling Zelda game ever. So I did mention that with uh, RJS and he asked about Twilight Princess. I'm not sure if combined sales of that game with the Wii U and the GameCube was higher. That was the only question I had when I had seen the stats earlier that I thought they were saying Breath of the Wild was the most um, Zelda game, like the, the highest selling Zelda game. So... Splatoon 2, 6.02 million units sold. This one surprised me. 1 2 Switch, 2.29 million units sold. Arms, 1.85 million units sold. Xenoblade 2, 1.31 million units sold. And Kirby Star Allies, 1.29 million units sold in two weeks. Two weeks. Nightcrawler saying at one point, Breath of the Wild had more units sold than Switches in the Wild. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. So, guys, these these sales are 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 nuts. 
The only game that we don't see on here that I wanted to see, I want to know how Bayonetta did. I want to know how Bayonetta 1 and 2 did. But we didn't, we need to hear about that. So, uh, a lot of games, a lot of games. Xenoblade 2, 1.31 million units sold. That gets me stoked. Really, really excited for that. Switch hardware. We're looking at almost 18 million units sold, and it is expected to ship 20 million units by the end of the fiscal year. I don't know about you guys, but I think they're going to blow that number out of the water. I think it's going to get blown out of the water. Nightcrawler's saying that there's an update tomorrow for uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. That, I believe, has uh, two blades. If you have the season pass, you get one. Uh, you get, like, the... It's a, it's a blade that's tied to Poppy. And then I believe the other blade is available for anybody, but you have to do some quests. So, uh, so yeah, that is, that is coming as well. I forgot to get that in my notes. Thank you for reminding me, guys. I appreciate that. The new Poppy Brawler blade in that update. Scrap Gear says he can't wait for it. So, awesome. So, yeah, I think the Switch is going to... I think it's going to, to surpass the 20 million units, no problem. Especially... Once we look at some of the games that are that are confirmed or possibly coming out this year, and it's interesting some of the uh, verbiage they used in this list coming up, but I think we are easily, easily going to surpass uh, 20 million units. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like between 22 and 24 million units after uh, after the holiday this year, but that's just that's just my guess. It's Nintendo is also projecting a hundred million software units sold between digital and physical that's also crazy everybody's favorite system to hate on the 3ds expected to sell another 4 million units and 16 million <laughs> units of software before 2019 what they're still supporting this thing I think the install base, I forgot I was going to go back and get the numbers, but I think the install base is sitting around like 72 to 76 million units right now. So it may, it might hit that 80 million unit uh, mark <laughs> between the 3DS, 2DS, all that stuff. So it's still going, it's still going strong. It is, it is still going strong. So, you know, we got games like Luigi's Mansion coming out. We're, we're seeing... I like what they're doing, how they're doing the, the like, the Toad game. Uh, Captain Toad is coming out on the, the 3DS and the Switch. I, I like that. I kind of wish they'd done it with Luigi's Mansion, honestly. But, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see something down the road. They got to have something that's going to get people to buy that system or buy that system again. Because <laughs> I know a lot of people traded it in for their Switch. But... You know, it's it's good. They're supporting it. And you have major companies like uh, like Pokemon, major major titles that have said we are no longer releasing on the 3DS and the DS uh, line. So it's uh, the system's still going strong. It's crazy. Last, we have the SNES Classic sold 5.28 million units. Crazy, crazy number there. And I'm still seeing those around Best Buy and stuff, so you can still find them if you want to so 2018 2018 game releases i'm not going to read everything on here because there there is a lot there's a lot and it goes through the 3ds and the switch but there's a few that i want to touch on that say 2018 okay uh i'm gonna go i am gonna i'm gonna read a few here here we go so this is for the united states we, we already know about the, the Labo stuff that dropped. Donkey Kong Country is next Friday. Hyrule Warriors is the 18th. Sushi Strikers is the is uh, June 8th. Mario Tennis Aces, June 22nd. Octopath Traveler is uh, 7-13, same day as Captain Toad. Here we go. The World Ends With You. Final Remix, 2018. Fire Emblem for Nintendo Switch. 2018 Yoshi for Nintendo Switch 2018 Smash Bros for Nintendo Switch 2018 Pokemon RPG for Nintendo Switch 2018 or later so it's uh it's it's close fingers crossed that's what we've been hearing right we've talked about it numerous times on this show that there's it's rumored to be getting ready then Bayonetta 3 says to be announced and Metroid Prime 4 says to be announced so 
pretty exciting that as of right now, the world ends with you, Fire Emblem, Yoshi, Smash, and possible Pokemon, and we haven't even got to E3 yet. This year is going to be crazy. This this year is is nuts. Is absolutely nuts. So, uh, yeah, it's it's out of control. It's out of control. I can tell that uh, I've I've already heard some people's like games games at dusk throws money at the screen, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, so so many games. Scrap Gear says I'm sure we're gonna get more Pokemon info at E3. We probably will. We 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 probably will. So let's see here. So that uh, I do want to check real quick just to give you guys an idea of some of the the DS games it's pretty much everything that's been announced Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers Sushi Striker Captain Toad WarioWare Gold Luigi's Mansion and Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story so that is that is the list so far for 3DS games that goes all the way to 2019 okay hey we did it there was a lot of stuff. There was a lot of stuff to cover. If you want to see all the stuff that I mentioned, n64josh.com slash npc88. This is the real episode 88. I know I said it last week. I'm sorry. But this is it. This is episode 88. Thank you guys for, for tuning in. Thank you for being here live. I appreciate you guys. You you rock my socks clean off. So uh, so thank you, thank you. Let's uh, let's see, guys. If you want to be able to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, YouTube, Patreon, Vero, it's all N64 Josh. You'll find me there. Remember the Smash Bros. Cast recording it live Thursday nights, 10 p.m. Pacific. I know it's late. I'm sorry. It's just the way it goes, but you can check it out on, on iTunes, Google Play, soon to be on Stitcher. AudibleTrial.com slash NPC gets you a free audiobook of your choice. Podbean.com slash NPC, you can start your own podcast, become a crazy person like me. OPC, it's a chair I'm sitting in. Go to OPC.com, check out their gaming chairs, save $10 with coupon code N64Josh. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash n64josh. And if you want to get a Nintendo PowerCast t-shirt, n64josh.com slash store. Join the Discord. We've had a bunch of new people join this week. Come and hang out. It's a it's a really good time. It is a really good time. We talk, we talk Nintendo games. We make fun of God of War and Pudding gets upset. <laughs> Even though God of War is awesome, we just like to, uh, you know, we poke fun at each other. We have a good time. We have uh, we have a good time. Scrap Gear says it's 1 a.m. Eastern when uh, when that show goes live. Yeah, I know, bud. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But what can I do? It's just uh, it's just the way it is. Yeah, we always talk about we always talk about Gears, God of War being Gears of War, and it and it triggers uh, all the God of War fans. So they're putting right now, <laughs> God of Gears. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. So we're having a good time. That's n64josh.com slash discord. Come hang out. It's uh, if, you, if you're not familiar with discord, we'll walk you through it. It, uh, um, it it's, it's a blast in there. And if you're looking for people to game with, you know, Mario Kart, Rocket League, Splatoon, Smash, soon to be Aces, we got, we got a lot of people to play with. So, uh, so so come hang out yeah we changed the name of god of war to dad of, uh dad of dad of boy <laughs> right <laughs> so it's uh it's it's good stuff remember we're giving away a copy of donkey kong tropical freeze this tuesday come hang out make sure you're there with us live something about my beard's gonna happen since we broke 30 viewers today and uh yeah if you guys like this show rate and review on itunes i'd really really appreciate it thank you guys just for listening week in and week out. I really, really appreciate you. And uh, remember, tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Pacific, I will be looking at um, a robot named Fight. Thank you guys again for everything. Love you. We'll see you in the next episode. Later. <laughs>